Now, as you know, we start off the show with something that's hot, and I'm pretty sure you need to know about this man because he gets me fired up all the time. With his tenacity, he never gets up, and his pure grit. And if you can see right behind me, this man right here is Hansel Emanuel. Y'all may not know this dude, but you need to know him because he is absolutely insane on the court and you may see something you've never seen before because yes that is true he is missing his left arm that is true here dominican all right from the dominican republic all right had his left arm amputated at the age of six and actually he represented his country so well in high school this guy averaged almost 26 points a game and just simply killed it all right now he now lives in Florida, and now Florida was a dream of becoming a professional basketball player. And then his pregnancy allowed him to continue this journey. But as you can see, he is a fantastic baller, especially a dunker. I mean, he became known to the world with his impressive dunks while he was at a high school team, I don't know, called Life Christian Academy in Kissimmee, Florida, in which he actually won the dunk contest on December 19, 2021, when he just did a beautiful 360 dunk, as you just saw right here. But to keep it going, his his disability, quote unquote, became his strength. I mean, his pops, I mean, we call him Kikima, and that's Hansel Salvador Donato, sorry, Donato, you know, played professionally in the Dominican Republic. But, you know, after that accident when he was six years old, when he was just playing on some cinder blocks, literally crushed his chest, and he was under there for two hours. Reason why they had to amputate his arms because all the live tendons in his arm had just gone away, just died. So with that being said, chopped it off but then after that accident he got the love of basketball and he realized he was nice at the age of 14 and just kept getting better and better as you see he's not only an offensive mind player this guy can play defense like he can do it all i mean he represents the Dominican republic so incredibly well his basketball iq is incredible when i mean incredible incredible i love watching him play and i've been watching him for a while but as you see that beautiful filet and that's just with one hand Full court pressure, nothing to this man. Everybody says, yo, force him left, force him left. What happens is that he's able to break through the D and can shoot the three. Splash. I mean, he's just pure talent. He may be the first ever one on NBA basketball player. And I can't wait to see that that does happen. I mean, also, just let you know that you got to realize that he went through not only physical turmoil, physical negativity and physical state things that he also had a language barrier like he could not speak english at all so you got two things back and forth man just challenge after challenge after challenge and the one thing i do know is that he plays hard i mean i heard so many different stories about him going to practices coming back from the Dominican republic i mean there's one time i think his coach and that was um uh, what's his name uh mois uh mikhail he was a coach there at life christian academy he said straight up Yo, when you miss a lady, I do 20 push-ups. Ava looked out, what are you gonna do? He did the 20 push-ups, and then somebody called Shaquille O'Neal has been giving him praises. Like, literally, he said, and I quote, Jackson said, even with one arm, he can beat the best basketball players of his generation, which is crazy. Like, I'm so impressed by this man, and this is why I get so fired up, because these are ballers that make me hype for the game. It don't matter what your disability is or what your struggle is, you can still ball and get out there. And what I loved about it is also he has a chance to go Division One, and he did. Southland Conference NCAA, this man signed with the beautiful team there. Uh, it wasn't at, at Tennessee State University in 2021, and then Memphis in 2022 tried to get him, but then that beautiful Northwestern State in the Southland Conference in the NCAA Division One signed him. He now is playing almost professional he i would say you play college ball division one you almost there you play you playing professional you got a lot of eyes on you but shout out to hansel emmanuel yo shout out to this man i'm telling you i want to get you on the show i gotta learn spanish so i can like really communicate with you but i'm watching some interviews your english is pretty dope but he's one of them ballers that i just give it to him i, I tip my hat because he's not letting nothing hold him back